Got it. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right. Doing all horseshoes, which is uh, it's terrible. <laughs> I gotta deal with uh, cops all the time because uh, we haven't unlocked Lost Venturis yet at this point so four stars the whole time it's very similar to the uh, very similar to the uh, all oysters early earlier in the uh, marathon so I'll have police trying to kill me I'll have hydras shooting at me those kinds of things I'm doing kind of a safer overall strategy, which is to fly an airplane over to Las Venturas and then drive a PCJ the entire time. It's probably a little faster to, uh, from what I can tell anyways, to ride an NRG over and just jump over into Las Venturas. But that's, uh, it's riskier because if you get a flat tire or something, you're less likely to find a backup bike. So that's why I'm using the PCJ. It's definitely more, uh, more marathon friendly and it's probably faster on average if you do a bunch of runs over and over but the odds of me getting through a run without dying are they're pretty low yeah. that's why the estimate is factoring in one death basically because it's so hard to avoid the hydra I got a Tahoma to start with that's not too bad I prefer the cop bike obviously but this is my number two choice So with my PCJ strat, I'll have, uh, if I do get a flat tire, it's more likely that I'll find another PCJ. Obviously that's a kind of a common thing in Grand Theft Auto games that when you're driving a car, more of them will spawn. So it's beneficial. And it's not much slower anyways. I'll also be doing a Sea Sparrow strat, so I'll be driving back out into the desert to get a, uh, the Sea Sparrow helicopter. I'm not going to try to steal the news helicopter because it's pretty inconsistent from my practicing. <laughs> I've yeah, done it. The, I've done it a couple sorry, times. Yeah. yeah. I think the marathon safety of this run is probably pretty important. Yeah. Of all the collectibles to do at the beginning of the game, these are probably the hardest. Yes, that's what I've been experiencing. Because I've done all of them now. So. Yeah, uh, that's a great way to start. Yeah, because it's like oysters you can All get right. from like sea level, snapshots you can take from a mile away, but the horseshoes yeah. are like on top of buildings and shit, so <laughs> they expect you to have a jetpack, I guess. Alright, so my airplane got blown up, which does not cost as much time as you'd think, uh, because it's so hard to maneuver it on the ground that running is almost just as fast. I'll run out of stamina though. But, uh, that's why I'm jumping. The, uh, the cops seem to bother me less when I'm running on the ground than when I'm in the, uh, airplane. They get in front, and they'll stop, like, right in front of your wing. And, uh, they can do a lot of damage to your plane, but, uh, the big thing to worry about is the police helicopter. It was just shooting at me. Alright, I'm out of stamina. Alright, so I'm gonna go over, get a different plane to take out to get the PCJ. I'm gonna take another plane to that plane. I haven't decided if I want to listen to music or not. I don't have much to talk about, it's just... Oh, now I'm gonna go get the next horseshoe. <laughs> now I'm gonna get the next yeah. horseshoe. <laughs> I. I've got a little bit to talk about once we get to the uh, to the big casinos. I'm going to talk about like uh, what real life casinos they're based off of. I've got some fun facts about Las Vegas. All right. 
bike. Oh, great, the cops are already hitting me. I'm playing with a controller, if anybody's wondering. I'm one of those people. Oof. get a gun in this run? I usually don't. Damn it. <laughs> Just, yeah, I, guess it I almost got busted there. Holy oh my shit. goodness. This has started off very poorly. I've lost a lot of armor already, but uh, I did a run earlier, and I got through it without dying, and I already had no armor at this point, so I think I'm in okay shape. Oh, there's a cop right there. I'm going to jump. The route is mostly made up by myself. I took some elements from uh, Tuxer. He's the other. He's the co-world record holder. Me and him both have 32 13s. <laughs> Using extremely different strategies. All right. This is the safest part of the run right here, these like next three horseshoes. Uh, very little cop interference. In fact, I joked earlier that the, uh, the tennis court horseshoe that I'm getting next here is probably the only one that has never made me lose a run. At some point, I've lost a run at every single possible place you could imagine. I one time drove my bike into that pool back there, that's how that one got me. <laughs> this one is easy. Get it through the fence. Alright, here's a big jump. This is the only big downside to using the PCJ, other than it being overall slower than the, than the NRG, is that this jump is ah, very difficult with it. It's even more difficult when the cops get in your way. I want to get back so I can get a running start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These cops. Ah! I got CJ over, I didn't get the bike over. That happens quite a bit. <laughs> it's better than not getting either over. See, if the cops hadn't have been bothering me, I would have got that pretty easily. Alright, let's see how I'm going to do this. we got SWAT parked right up against the fence. That's going to keep the gate closed. See? That's not good. I'm going to try to drive around here, see if I can get him to move. got to really think on your feet a lot during this run. So many things can happen. Alright, SWAT moved. Hmm. Whenever you're close to the gate, it won't open, so... Or if any vehicle's close to the gate, it won't open. Alright, back on my bike. I'm just glad I made the jump at this point. Half made the jump. Alright. This is always, I thought, a weird location for a horseshoe back here. It's like behind some kind of shopping mall. Some of them are in cool places. I think S was talking about that during his run. Like some of the horseshoes are just kind of randomly placed about. Alright, the next one's the first one I've written down, like a real-world location uh, it's based on. This is the V-Rock Hotel I'm coming up on, which is based on the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in um, Las Vegas. It was actually under construction at the time the game was made, which makes me think that they did a lot more research than they needed to in making this game. But see, you got a guitar-shaped pool here. It took me a really long time to realize this thing was guitar-shaped, because I never see it from above, really, and I don't think about it. 
Also an oyster in there. Yeah, they really wanted you to come here and see this, I guess. Yeah. Alright. One time I got hit by a train right there and it took it, my bike with it coming down here. This is another oddly placed horseshoe in the middle of a railroad tunnel underneath the freeway. So the jump back there is the second most stressful part of the run um, outside of the discluding the helicopter portion which I have no control over whether the Hydra shoots me or not. The uh, the most stressful part, I think, is trying to get up on the, uh, I'll talk about it later, but I have to get a horseshoe over by the pyramid, up on that, like, rail that runs around the pyramid. It is very difficult for some reason, especially for me. Other people don't seem to struggle with it quite as much, but I have problems. But I'm glad I got the jump out of the way. <laughs> Using the NRG, the jump is a lot easier, but overall the PCJ I think handles nicer. I might just be more used to it, but I feel more confident with the turning and like navigating bumps and hills and such. Alright, coming up right here is the first place I have a good chance of getting a pop tire. Right here, these cops on the sidewalk. Alright, they didn't spawn too badly. There's a couple. But I've tried about any uh, combination of vehicles and helicopter strats you can think of. This seems to be the safest way to do this run. I'm not very good at the news helicopter strats. I try it and try it and try it and I just can never get it right. Alright. Here's a place I can get backup armor if I need to at this motel, but I don't think I'll need it. I still have a decent amount of health and a little bit of armor. It costs about 20 to 30 seconds, so it's very beneficial to not have to get it here. Alright, so the question I get every time I do any collectible speedrun is what does this give you? What does this do? Why are you doing this? Um, the horseshoes don't really give you anything. They give you guns outside of Woozy's Casino, and they give you luck, which I've heard different people say different things about it. I think luck does nothing. Some people say it gives you better luck in the casino, but I've also heard other people say that's not true. So. It's my opinion that it does nothing. Yeah, people have, uh, code people have looked at it, and luck is never mentioned in the whole code, so it literally does nothing. Yeah. And I've always seen people say, it like, uh, it makes planes not fall on you, but I'm pretty sure that's just a joke. <laughs> well, I, I hope. I think it's written in GTA Wiki or something. In the way. Yeah. I said that like three years ago, and then everyone seems to. I. I was reading the GTA Wiki stuff for uh, Lost Venturis the other day to get some fun facts for my run here for commentary, and it is horribly written. I don't know who's in charge of it, but it is. It looks like it's written by a, like an eight-year-old. Just, it's got horrible grammar. GTA fan is not right. Alright, I'm gonna go get a soda so I have more health. Just because. If it wasn't a marathon, I probably wouldn't, but I'm low on armor. The cops have not bothered me as much as they c 
could, so I, I've been pretty lucky so far. It, it seems like I haven't been. That's a script cop right there. Forgot to mention that earlier. That place earlier where like the two cops jumped out in front of me, that's always fun to see. That happens every single time they're written in there. Ah, oh, that was a bad jump. Another thing important about this run that you can practice to get better at it is jumping. You jump, uh... You want to hit whatever you're jumping at, at basically like the apex of your leap, so your highest point. That'll get you up at the fastest. It skips like the hanging animation where he has to pull up his body weight. So that's something you get better at the more you do it. This next horseshoe I'm getting is always a stress, stressful one. For some reason, cops with shotguns love to spawn right here. I have no idea why, but it always seems to come and get me right here at the Ventura Stakes drive through Alright, we're getting near the, uh, the casinos now, so I can start talking about some of my notes I have here. This, um, this is not one I've taken notes for, actually. I don't know what this casino is, but it looks cool. The Visage. Not sure what it's based on. There's also an oyster near this one. It's a lot of oyster horseshoe pairs in Las Venturas. Here's a script cop. Always pops out there. Just tap the brakes and you'll miss them. It's easy. Alright, this used to be a really hard horseshoe for me. Okay, by the way, this is a real casino in real life. It's called Treasure Island. And it's famous for, they like do fake pirate battles in the uh, lake at, at night, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But this, this location used to give me a lot of problems until I realized I could park the bike like that and I wouldn't have to jump back up because for some reason CJ is very finicky about jumping up onto that platform. He, uh, he can't do it very well. You have to get it at an angle and jump, and it's a mess. And there's tons of cops there to shoot you, so... I feel like I'm doing pretty good so far. My bike's not even smoking. I didn't have to go to the paint spray or anything. Alright, this next horseshoe is on top of the uh, the pyramid. It's always, it was one of my favorite ones to get. When I was learning, I was like, how am I going to get that one on top of the pyramid? Because I'll have to like land a helicopter up there somehow. But it turns out CJ is uh, very athletic and he can just run straight up. This is bad. <laughs> this did not go according to plan at all. Alright, I'm just going to take a little detour here. Take a long way around. Ah, stupid Elvis. Alright, so that's a ton of time lost there. <laughs> Alright, so CJ can just run straight up this incline, no problem, full speed. At the top of this, this is also a real world hotel. It's uh, based on the Luxor, I think it's called. It's a uh, Egypt themed. On top here you see that bright light. That is um, based on the Luxor sky beam. It's the brightest beam of light in the world. It's uh, They use a system of uh, lamps and mirrors to create it and it's uh, extremely powerful. You can see it from over 275 miles away and uh, it's rumored that you can see it Ah, this is the hard horseshoe to get here because I can't get up this incline half the time. Uh, it's rumored you can see it from Los Angeles if you're at like if you're in an airplane. I don't know if that's true or not, but it would be cool. All right, I got up. Nice. That's what she said. Or he said, I guess. Um. So this, this is kind of the more stressful horseshoe just because I'm really bad at doing that little bike trick back there where I drive up onto the back of the Sphinx. 
Uh, the Luxor Hotel, by the way, which you can see right there, is the sixth largest hotel in all of Las, uh, uh, Las Vegas, not Las Ventures, but it's the ninth largest hotel in the world. That gives you a good idea of how many humongous hotels there are in Las Vegas. It's pretty crazy. And it has gotten bigger recently. Since the game has been made, they've added a couple, uh, like a 22-story building or something. Alright, so I'm almost dead here, and they flattened my tire, so... Things have started to go south. <laughs> I'm flashing health. Good thing there's armor right here I should be able to get. The bike is the bigger concern. Get there, thank you. Alright, a lot of times there'll be a bike in this parking lot. It doesn't look like there's one, though. Eh, I'll just... I'll just w wing it with a slow car. Alright, we're doing nebula strats now, guys. Oh my goodness, this is a horrendous idea. Why did, why did nobody talk me out of this? <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness, they've got a shotgun. Okay, we're getting back on the bike. Okay, so take two. Back on the bike that can't turn. This is the BS that happens. Alright, so there I could have stopped and got that gun, but what good would it have really done me at this point? Alright. At least they didn't get the back tire. It's funny, in my world record, the Tide world record, I did, I used a car for like 10 or 15 horseshoes because I did, uh, I did the air horseshoes, that's what I call them, the ones I get with the helicopter. I did them first and then jumped down and just kind of scrambled around until I found a, a car to continue the run. And I did fine with that for a while. So I thought I could use that car there, but apparently not. <laughs> That's always a bad place. There's a good chance that a uh, there'll be like a SWAT barricade, and they'll just completely tear up the bike. I should have grabbed that bike back there, but I'm really nervous about this health, so I didn't want to slam into it and fall off. Ah, oh, man, these people didn't park their bike outside. A lot of times these people have a PCJ outside their house. I like to get it. They must have put it in their garage or something. Alright. Still going. Man, that armor got evaporated by that shotgun. Alright. Not sure how I'm going to get out of this backyard. I like to go out the way I came in, but the turning. Alright, I'll go this way. Ah, man. This thing is impossible to drive. That cop was just casually walking down the street. He didn't even try to stop me. Alright, next horseshoe location is a good place to look for a bike as well. It's also a good place to take fall damage, so I'll have to be careful. Ugh. Turning. Earlier today, I was practicing, and I warped through this wall, kind of. It was really weird. Uh, I was, uh, I parked the bike right up against it, and then some cops sandwiched me against the wall. So I got off the bike, and it just shot CJ straight through the wall, and then like 20 feet towards the horseshoe. So it, it saved me a lot of time. It was weird, like five seconds, probably. All right, there is no bike over here. Making sure... Double check. No bikes. Alright. I guess I'll just keep going with the flat tire. Oh, jeez. Sharp turns are killing me.
All right, so I'm coming up on the end of the uh, what I call the ground horseshoes, the ones I get without the aid of a aerial vehicle. So I'll have to drive back out and get the sea sparrow. But first I'll have to grab a bite to eat because I'm on blinking health. And I will take a bit of fall damage during the air portion. Oh, this next horseshoe is going to be interesting. Because I can't get up there with a the flat tire. I'll have to park over here. Park over here, get off right on it. Sprint over. Oh my goodness, see why would they spawn up there? They weren't there a second ago when I got off the bike, were they? Alright. There's the flat tire costing me health. Alright, I've got to be real careful here, because this guy likes to not spawn. There's a bike. Oh, I want. Okay, get the hot dog CJ. Where'd all those stupid bikes go? Okay, there's a SWAT barricade there, so I'm gonna go off into the desert here and go around. Real quick, like. This right here, to my knowledge, is the only horseshoe that you cannot get while standing on a fixed object. You have to be jumping or in the air in some fashion to get it. Everything else I think you can stand on something and get. Even the one in the airport, which is kind of elevated. Ah, I tried to hit that guy, but he dodged me. Well, I guess I won't be getting a world record at the marathon like I had anticipated. Well, not anticipated, but hoped. Ah, give me your bike. Give me your bike. Give me your bike. You do about dying, I'll still be impressed. I've gotten this far. I, I, I've lived through all the horseshoes that I have control over. At this point, it's just whether or not the Hydra wants to kill me. If the police can't all right. stop you, you must be on the dust. Remember, dust fans, nobody rules the streets like us. We're not outdated, and neither is our music. Let's answer the phone. Hey, that band you were in, how come all the members have gone on to be really famous, and you're like, no. All right. Look, Try there's it. a lot of people who make a living off my name. The owner Ooh, don't want to turn there. The ears were right turn. The part, the president. But when it comes down to it, when the music stops Yikes, running, that was a bad bump. I was one time running down this hill to the Sea Sparrow because, uh... I don't know what happened. I think I crashed my bike and it went off somewhere. I couldn't find it. I was sprinting down here and a, a cop SUV came out of nowhere and ran me over from like off one of those cliffs, I think. It was, uh, it was hilarious. 99% of my runs do not make it uh, very far at all in this, in this category, so I'm happy I got this far. I have been practicing a lot this week, though. Okay, we already got a rocket shooting at us. Okay, it missed. It must have hit the bridge back there or something. That's good news. This is a really long flight, and not much happens during it other than me getting shot by Hydra bullets, so, uh... Or rockets. The uh There we go, there's some Hydra fun for us. Not much I can do to avoid them. What I try to do, I try to stay as low to the ground as possible, which I just started doing that a few weeks ago. Uh before I just focused on going as fast as possible. And uh I would always get shot down. I was getting really frustrated. And somebody in my chat just said, Why don't you just try staying as low to the ground as possible? And I was like, Oh, if only it were that easy. But uh, it turns out it's a big help. Alright, they missed there. That's good. This thing can usually take two Hydra shots before it blows up. It's also dependent on how much other damage I take, because I bump into uh, things. <laughs> Some of them are unavoidable. Alright, this is the Four Dragons Casino. It's owned by Woozy, or owned by the... Mafia that Woozy works for, I should say. 
and it's based on the what is it called the Imperial something casino Imperial Palace there it is I don't have any facts about it I just know the name the next casino I'm going to here over here is Camelot, which is a play on words of Camelot, which, and it's based on the uh, based on the casino Excalibur. I just took a lot of damage there; I didn't need to. Based on the casino Excalibur, which also has something to do with King Arthur. I'm not really caught up on my medieval England history, but. It's also a very, very large casino. I think it's in the top 15 in the world. It looks pretty cool in the game. It, it's a lot bigger in real life. It's very, very large. There's the Hydra. See him over there? He's getting ready to shoot me again. There's the Luxor again. And, uh, oh, it's actually called the Camel's Toe in this game, which is... Most of the casinos have dirty names. Here's Caligula's Palace, based on Caesar's Palace, obviously, which is another enormous hotel slash casino, and uh, it's where the uh, the people stay in the movie The Hangover. Here's the Clown's Pocket, also another dirty name for a casino. Uh, it's based on the Circus Circus Casino, which was under construction at the time of the game, and so is the Clown's Pocket Casino in this game. There's a big crane out back. And you can use that crane to steal a news helicopter or police helicopter. But it's not time effective. It's much better to get it on the pyramid. Oh crap. Did you just blow up my stuff? Is it good? Alright, I'm gonna keep going. That was two Hydra shots. Oh crap. I didn't make it through it without dying, dang it. <laughs> the fire got me, it's cause uh... Usually I don't take- Ah, oh, man, I didn't move, I got the tutorial at the hospital. Um, usually you take the rocket shots in the air, you know, 99% of the time. When it hits you on the ground, the fire will cause extra damage. That's annoying. Alright, let's see. I've got three horseshoes left, I think. What's my time? Is it like 30-something minutes at this point? That flat tire was going to cost me several minutes, I guess. If I do a clean run with a healthy bike the whole time, without dying, I should be able to get, like... 31 with this strategy 31 maybe 30 if I'm if it's like really perfect with the NRG I think I can get sub 30 potentially if it's really good I don't know but I'm not very interested in continuing with this after the marathon I had actually given up on it after I had already submitted it for uh for the marathon to be considered, and I moved on to all collectibles, which I have a lot more fun with because there's no cops during it. Um, but it's still fun to do this, even though it's uh, soul crushing. After the school year's over, I got some finals next week. After that, I'm going to start learning any percent this summer, I think. I'll probably be streaming practice for that in a week or so. I'll probably take next week off just because I got a lot of tests. This is like the flight of shame back to uh, back to LV for the second attempt. All right, now the downside to this is. Um, now I'm going to have an even longer flight in the Sea Sparrow probably. Actually, it won't be too bad because I got I go to the Skyscraper first. It's actually not too bad, but uh, if you have a really long flight without getting to a horseshoe, you're more likely to get shot down by the Hydra. If 
you're getting in and out, it seems like it really messes with the Hydra's ability to track you or something, I don't know. Alright, here I am going to land and grab the PCJ and then drive it down to the uh, Sea Sparrow. That's mostly like a superstition I have. It's uh, The Sea Sparrow likes to not spawn when you drive the plane over for some reason. The majority of the time it won't spawn, so I'll have to do a big loop in the plane and come back and make it spawn. But it usually spawns every time with the motorcycle, so... But it's... I don't know, it probably consistently spawns either way, but I've had it not spawn so many times. Like, it's 50-50, it seems like. Oh great, here comes a rocket. That's new. Good news is I don't have to get the come a lot sign with this helicopter, which takes a lot of health off the helicopter. Because you clip it a lot. You can land it on the way in without taking damage. Coming off of it without taking damage is very difficult. I've done it before. Crook was trying to get on it without taking damage in his all collectibles PB and he parked a little too close to the edge and he got out and it fell off. <laughs> it cost him like 10 minutes or so. Well, probably not that much, but it cost him a lot of time. But I'm a horseshoes pro, so no problem for me. Alright. This is the Emerald Isle Casino. And I just got blown up here a little while ago by that jackass over there in the Hydra. Uh, this is based on uh, Fitzgerald's, I think is the name of the casino. It doesn't exist anymore. Well, it's been rebranded and new ownership, so new name and everything. It's still, the building still physically exists. It's called Fitzgerald. It's based on, like, Irish culture and stuff, I guess, but uh, it was the first uh, casino in Las Vegas to have an African-American owner, according to its Wikipedia page. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, I still have three more horseshoes. This is the old Las Vegas Strip here, located in, uh, or Las Venturas Strip, I guess, technically. Interesting fact, the Las Vegas Strip that everybody's so familiar with, not in Las Vegas. It is technically in an unincorporated area just outside of Las Vegas city limits. But the old Las Vegas Strip, which has a bunch of other casinos and hotels that are lesser known, is in downtown Las Vegas. That's what this area is based on. I always thought that was kind of weird, that you would have all those humongous casinos. Like, half of the world's ten largest casinos are not inside of a city. They're in unincorporated territory. This, cas uh, this horseshoe there is like half in a wall, half out of a wall, because... I don't know. They're bad at placing them, I guess. I couldn't figure out what this shopping mall area was based off of, but it's really big. I'm sure it's based on something in real life. Right. This is my like least favorite horseshoe right here, this billboard one. It's the last one I get. It's uh, You can't land your uh, helicopter on it in a way that you can get back to it. So, uh, unless... I guess you could theoretically land the helicopter, or jump out of the helicopter in motion. Oh, there we go, time. Uh, you can land the helicopter in motion, I guess, and it'll land on the ground, but I don't trust that. They blew it up anyways. Alright, you got, you got a 3848, so... Alright, that's really close to my estimate. Yeah, the, the, the losing the tire. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I could really... Dude, I mean, I. There was a chance I could have gotten a bike pretty quickly after after I got that flat tire, but I just didn't want to risk it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, all. I guess I'm done then. Yeah, nice one. The only time you died, there was literally nothing you could do about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, 
I will say this. I, I was going to pretend like if I had set a world record, I was going to pretend like it was the real world record. But uh, last week I set a 30 minute, six second time. I just haven't submitted it yet. So I have set a new world record for this. I'll probably submit it pretty soon. So I'll see you. I guess I'll stop streaming now.